Hello there, just a little update. Um, yes, I've got a sore throat, a cold, man flu actually. Oh dear, dear. <clears throat> Thanks for the sympathy. <laughs> There's no F in sympathy, is there? Thank you, Jan. But Jan's had it as well. We think we caught it from the vloggers Christmas do, so um, thanks very much. <laughs> uh, no, it could have been anybody, we have no idea. Um, but we bunged up, and the boat's bunged up as well. We're supposed to be in our Christmas mooring just up the canal from here. We're still just outside Braunston uh, with Amy Joe behind us, but we're going nowhere because the canal is frozen at the moment. Uh, we have had other boaters go past here at phenomenal speeds, I might say, uh, breaking the ice and potentially causing damage to their boat and to us as well. In fact, the, one of the boats that went past hit the back of Amy Jo and pulled some of the blocking off. It is a bit dangerous moving and we realise that some people have to move, but if you don't have to, stay where you are. You know, if you've got to hand over a boat to somebody else because you're in a shared syndicate, phone your secretary up and organise a handover where you are. It causes less stress for everybody. Um, and it's helpful for everybody as well. Uh, we can't get any water, although we've watered up before we left Braunston a few days ago. Um, fuel boat is due here, I think on Thursday, if he can get through, no idea if he can. Uh, what else? Uh, oh, we can empty the L-San. There's an L-San emptying point by Midland Chandlers, which is just behind us. So that's okay. Water um, thing, water butt thing. We haven't got a water butt. Yeah, that's the, we've got a little 10 litre handheld thing that we use for drinking water, don't we? Um, and that's running out. We can go up to the tap and fill that up, but it's not gonna fill the tank up. We're actually looking for a, one of those aqua roll things. So if anybody's got one spare that they don't ever use because they've got a caravan they've sold or selling, then let us know. Uh, we'll gladly take it off your hands. Can't get one at the Chandler's. <laughs> yeah, funny enough, you know, um, camping and caravan places sell them, but Midland Chandler's don't. There you go, Midland Chandler's, a bit of a sideline for you. Get some aqua rolls in or water carriers, anything, that'll do. The only ones who are enjoying the ice at the moment are the swans. There's a couple out here. Uh, hopefully they're getting some food, but they're just skating around on the ice at the moment. It's about an inch thick, so nobody's going anywhere at the moment. But as you probably can see, we've got plenty of sunshine, so we're getting plenty of solar. So that's keeping the diesel consumption down, but we have had to run the generator and the engine in the evening just to top the batteries up. <clears throat> Excuse the voice as I said. Good morning everybody from a very frosty canal. And it is frosty this morning. As you can see, we've had a bit of snow. In fact, I think it's still snowing. It's only just started. Just started. Light dusting of snow. Ah, another frosty day, as you've seen, a bit of snow. One of the things that we can't get easily is water. Uh, but we do have an army of friends who are setting up a bit of a uh, water conveyor belt. I'll show you that in a minute. But just to show you our water tank, um, it, at the top of it has frozen, as you'd expect. And you can see we're about just above halfway at the moment. So it does need topping up because we're going to be here for at least another week and we need showers. Whether we're going to do any washing or not is another thing, but there we go. Because Amy Jo's in the same situation. The actual water point is further down here. Uh, we did water up and do everything before we left Braunston, which is well over a week now. So you can imagine the water situation is getting a little bit fraught. We're okay for things like diesel and coal at the moment. And there is a small window of opportunity of moving, like I say, in about a week's time. Here's Karen with uh, 25 litres of water coming down. And Jan. Look at more heroin and heroes. Right. It's snowing though. Yeah. And that's 
so you can see how far we are away from the service point here's Lynn and Dave well Lynn I think with the other 25 litres and Chris from Amy Joe, who's also helping with some water for their boat My hero! Water service! What was <laughs> fantastic! <laughs> Chris has got a little one. Well, there we go. There's no answer to that. <laughs> Thank you. Every little helps. Right, so up here, just before the, what they call the turnover bridge, is Dave, I think. Charlie, who we'll have seen from various um, boat service vlogs we've done, has come down also to help. Obviously, he's with. Karen um, but he's going to be hoping has changed the shower because we've had problems with that it's starting to leak so what we've set up here or what the guys have set up here and here's Steve from Amy Joe, is a pipe hose pipe So what we've got, Dave's over there with the uh, hose pipe connected to the tap. We've got various extensions running. Um, obviously because the water's frozen, we can run that over the canal. We're just helping out a boater who's in front at the moment. So while we're waiting for the girls to come back with the two 25 litre tanks we're filling up this gentleman here on Hebra number one ingenious ingenious idea isn't, isn't it, it? Yeah. all the way from Midland Chandler's to here <laughs> <laughs> Well, so Karen's back. Hey, <laughs> where did he go? When? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Karen's back, so we're filling this one up. Big glass I've actually got a 51 litre aqua roll on order. Yeah. And it's been delivered to my daughter's, which we were supposed to be going up next week. But we're really grateful to you guys for doing this. This is really helpful. I just went, when Lynn, we went, went down to Lynn and Dave's for a coffee yesterday when they said, I said, well, we've got the two canisters. So that was it. This is really helping us out. There was no discussion, that was it. Everybody was in agreement. Couldn't leave people in the cup with no water. Quite a walk, isn't it? That's a great Yeah, but if we can get them all filled up as much as we can, like the farm. Yeah. Well, if, if we can get ours full, that'll last us until next week. Yeah. It will be the same. Until it comes up to the scratch, yeah. Away. To the straps. No, Bye, no, no, keep going. Oh no, hang on. Keep Fill going. It up, keep it going. That'll do, yeah. Have you got to turn down again? Yeah. I'm always turned on ready. <laughs> ready for action is our day. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the girls are back. So we think we're not nearly full, are we, Jan? Yeah, I think another two might do it. Yeah. Maximum three, but Amy Jo's got to find out how they can get the water into theirs because our tank's on the front, so we just opened the lid. Yeah. Can't believe it was frozen. Have they got a funnel? Don't know. She's just going to talk to Steve now. Okay. Um, but it looks like they're filling the guys' boat in front as well. Yeah, while, while we're here, might excellent, as well. Excellent, excellent. Yep. And I've realised, oh, Long hose works on the reel. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> We'd like to thank our friends for helping us out in such difficult circumstances. If you've enjoyed this little update, don't forget to give us a thumbs up for a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and then press the bell icon 
to receive notifications of future updates. In the meantime, stay safe, stay warm, have a great Christmas. We'll catch up with you again soon. Bye.